If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to a brand new day on Road to TG Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for being here. <clears throat> uh, no, Jace fan, this is random. Yeah, I use um, a software that allows me to determine the winners. So all you need to do is type in the word and then you get entered into the raffle and then a winner gets chosen. Yeah, and it's all automatic. Yeah, it's all automatic. Dogpoke, thanks so much for the follow. Roto, thank you so much for being here. And so we are now going to be playing with Baby Blounds, a deck that um, remains pretty strong. It started like putting in a lot of really good results towards the end of last format, even winning a regional. Um, and now we have Lucky Egg, where if the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, you draw cards until you have seven cards in your hand. So Lucky Egg will allow you to replenish resources, which is pretty impactful. This deck needs to find energies and resources to get back to back KOs and between Lucky Egg, Seijin and Oricorio, you should be able to do that. Your main attack Fireball Circus does 50 damage for every fire energy you choose to discard from your hand. That's really important of course and you can get to unlimited damage basically which is huge. Yeah, unlimited damage which is huge. And yeah, we will... Um, have Victini Prism with Infinity Attack for mill purposes and also um, Plus Avalon GX with the Burst GX Attack to get the last prize. We have Fiona as well to mess with Obstacles. We have Jirachi for early game reliability and we have Welders to advance our energy. So let's see what we can do with this deck. You know, let's see what we can do with this deck. No Amulet for Oricorio indeed, because how do you fight the Amulet? Like, I don't know it feels it feels unreliable you know like just playing one amulet how are you ever going to find it if you're playing greens to search for it then sure but then if you're playing greens you can't play a Ricoria. so I don't know <clears throat> it feels unnecessary yeah even if you play like the handbag the tool handbag I forgot the name but the one that searches for the tools like then you have two of right but it's still not that great I don't know um, what are my thoughts on Welder, Mew 3, Pulse, Sword and Shield? The fact that you can't Welder on turn 1 anymore if you end up going first is definitely, definitely annoying, right? Definitely annoying. Um, I'm choosing to go second as you just saw. <coughs> um, I think not being able to Welder on turn 1 is pretty detrimental to the deck. It takes away from the explosiveness of it. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so we're up against Seijin. Seijin ADP, so dual of the behemoths. On paper, you would imagine Baby Blondes has an advantage, right? On paper, but in reality, we'll see. <clears throat> Not a bad start for my opponent. Um, double welder. Okay, so with the double welder, <clears throat> I don't think I mind too much weldering onto a Jirachi to start off. Because obviously I want a Blown, and there's the Blown, right? This is the one card I wanted. Um, and that should really, really, really threaten my opponent big time. 
Good of Delwish, gonna find a Fire Flint. I don't expect my Jirachi to go down next turn. So I don't believe I need to um, to attach the Lucky Egg just yet. Although, I think I will attach it to the Blood Evelyn, because this Blood Evelyn will be active and attack me at some point. Right? That's guaranteed. And I don't want to bench the Oricoro just yet, though, because it is a 3 price liability. Though in the end, I guess 3 prices, 2 prices, 2 prices. Yeah, I guess it doesn't actually matter. Alright. So now we're even protected against a Jirachi KO. We have enough energy at this point if the Jirachi goes down to where um, we can take the return key on the station. And if my opponent decides to go for Alter Creation, we can probably take that down as well, as long as we wake up, right? Or find a switching card. Say Vitality Band, we see the water. We see a water. All right. All right, all right. We see a Marty. Okay, so we do lose the Welder and it's going to the bottom of the deck. But if my opponent doesn't get a switching card, then he's one more turn delayed, which means we're like, it's not a big deal for us. Um, perhaps because of the Marnie. Well, there's the last in lap, so that's certainly annoying. The thing is, like, it's either wow, <laughs> it's either Lysner Labs or um, Lysner Labs or Power Plant. They can't have both, right? Okay, so Stellwish, definitely the Wonder. Just to find more resources, I would love a stadium, right? I would certainly love a stadium here. Uh, I'm gonna quick ball away. Um, and skateboard, and I'm gonna grab not station because station is not here. Um, hmm. I guess another of these guys. Well, no, my hand is no. I yeah, it has to be a trash. So I have double switch, so that's fine. And I will simply... I mean, I could Stellar Wish again. That actually seems better. That way I get to keep the energy. And I have the other switch still. Um, Two fires, so I'll grab the Retrieval. Yeah, I'll grab the Retrieval. Because Fire Crystal is more energy efficient. And I'll pass. Yeah, so Jirachi goes down and then I have Oricorio plus Stellar Wish to find six energies. Seven energies to KO the AEP. So we'll see. It's gonna be tight though, it's gonna be tight. That Marnie ended up really hurting us. And yeah, being Marnied into no welder. That is definitely another reason why this could be problematic. Alright. Yeah, like you can't count on having your welder every time in your hand. All right. Okay, so definitely for one day Jirachi. And I Celtic got energy, that's very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and dance of tribute for three cards. Ooh, so I have a bunch of energy recovery. I don't actually have uh, maybe that, oh yeah, that was the one I could go. Well, it might be fine. Vitality Band. Okay, I need... I don't think I get the kill, right? Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't get the KO here. And that's game. That is absolutely game. I needed to kill this guy, and then... I need to finish up with Victini and then GX for a prize, but I have all the energy recovery I could want, I just don't have the energy. So that's it. Yeah, that is it. I had no way. I needed to take a KO <coughs> last turn and worst case scenario this turn to have a chance. So yeah, not not great. Yeah, not great. Even with consistent welders, maybe maybe the mistake was actually playing. 
Maybe the mistake was actually playing. Um, maybe the mistake was playing the um, the fire twins. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. I think that was also a big mistake. All right. <clears throat> Um, I chose to go first. I'm just gonna bench everything. I don't wanna bench this and then get filmed. Okay, so Reshram and Zachrom Jax. I have no idea what we're up against. Well, other than a Reshram and Zachrom Jax deck, right? But it could have been the, the Nuzzle deck. Definitely could have been the Nuzzle deck. We'll see. We shall see. <clears throat> Alright, so there's a Poi Ball, so it might just be regular Reshram. Reshram, Zekrom, Nakmadel. That would make sense, right? Okay, I need a big Stellawish here. This is not a big Stellawish, however. However, <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna need Mew to protect my pet from that guy. However, I do want Seishin just to draw extra cards. Really sucks that I didn't find any energy though. And now I only have one energy. Okay, not the biggest of deals. Not the biggest of deals so far. Alright. Alright, alright. So there's a Professor Speed Search, losing the Maulana, which makes sense. Big Charm, 300 damage, doesn't change the amount of energy that we were going to use anyways. <clears throat> and yeah, my opponent is having a super, super, super slow start. Alright, so definitely using this to thin first. And now, <clears throat> Fire Flint is definitely the card we need here. However, I mean, I basically need two plants, right? So I can afford to do this. And I'll grab four, and then I'll Welder two, and I still need a lot. Well, I guess I need another Fire Flint, that's all I need to get the KO here. Um, that's not it. <clears throat> That's not quite it, though I don't mind it too much. Go ahead and Stellarwish again. Grab Switch, just in case. And then I'll go ahead and attach, and then Intrepid Sword. I would not be surprised to see a Marnie here. I have all four Fire Crystals in my hand, which is crazy. Uh, do you think Reelable makes Ekro more of a threat? Definitely Sparty Pants. Um, I don't know if you saw the Limitless vs. Bravebirds um, show match yesterday, but... Um, not yesterday, sorry, on Sunday, but the Reelable deck was the first one to feature, and it almost beat ADP Sajin. Um, like, it didn't win because of a coin flip. So, I definitely think Reelable makes aggro a very viable pull one and the aggro's GX attack is just insanely good, I think. Thank you Native Ryan, thank you so much, thank you for stopping by. Eh, saludos Pablo Forman, muchas gracias por pasarte. Alright, so there's Zapdos, there's Poipol, there's Cynthia, so my opponent thinning, no energy still for him in the discard pile or anywhere. Like, if I knock out three prizes before he's even taken one, then it's just immediately, immediately game over, basically. <clears throat> is the match available on demand? It is. It is on Limitless TCG's uh, video archive. They decided not to let me... Um, not to let me upload the VODs to my channel for some reason. I feel like they would get a lot more um, exposure that way, right? Um, but yeah, you can find them on Limitless TTG's YouTube channel. Um, sure. Okay, so this guy is gone, right? One, two, three, four, five. 
and I have three the discard piles, so I'll be efficient with this. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, so I can afford to attach one. I can skateboard, switch, I mean retreat, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can even welder onto this guy one. I think that seems reasonable. And sure, why not? I'll bat two welders. Why not? More outs to drawing cards. And then we'll go ahead and fireball circus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. That's 300. Yep. All good. This should be good. So it's looking like I'm going to win this game. So be on the lookout for the next giveaway, guys. And I'll start grabbing the code. I have this bag. Have this bag and it has a bunch of codes in there yeah that i've collected from opening booster packs from like entry to tournaments and prize packs and everything so i just pull one out every time and this is a roaring skies booster pack is that a leicester cd top no 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 it's chelsea of course <laughs> it's definitely chelsea peter loves his pokemon catchers indeed <clears throat> My cards are awesome, Reggie BB. Thank you so much. These cards are provided to me by Pokemon. I have a special account that Pokemon gave me in order to help me make the videos. And Clan Undertaker, thanks so much for the follow. Thanks so much for being here. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't even know if this deck plays Great Catcher. I don't remember. I think it does. Um, but we should have this game locked up and ready to go. Because like what? Even if my bunny uses a GX, for some reason, that's two prizes, right? You would need to go like <coughs> reset stamp, double custom gacher, send both plus ones back, and use the GX to KO goals. And even then, that's only two prizes, so it's not the biggest of deals. I never found a lucky egg to attach to the plus stuff one. Um, I do find a welder, which is very nice. And sure, like, I'm probably getting knocked out here. <coughs> Well, I'm definitely getting knocked out, rather. Oh, did my bunch just miss up here? Ah, oh, okay, no, there, there's the energy. Yeah, I was gonna say, wait, what? <laughs> you need to be charging up with the active, not with the bench, so that you can retreat. But anyways, he does end up fixing it. Um, I think my opponent doesn't realize that it's him that needs to have three prizes and not me, so it's just gonna hit me for 80. I don't see how that helps him. Uh, maybe afterwards he realized it. And there's the... There's the KO. But we are a little bit of energy recovery away from just outright winning this game immediately. So let's go ahead and do this, just for training purposes. Now let's go ahead and welder to this guy, the one energy. So there's one, let's go ahead and continue to thin. Let's go ahead and continue to thin. I'll grab this guy. And then let's go ahead and salvage. I can't I don't think I can get the KO this turn. Right. I don't think I can get the KO this turn. Um I can however energy retrieval. But I don't need to, right? That's the beauty of this. I actually don't need to. Um, I could Intrepid Sword. I could Intrepid Sword. Um, nah, I'll just attack. Let's let's use a Lucky Egg. Let's use a Lucky Egg and be like, hey. KO me, you're dead. Don't KO me, you're probably also dead still. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Big Charm definitely has taken place of Choice Helmet because Choice Helmet reduces the damage from GXs, right? But we now have V Pokemon to worry about. So if you have Choice Helmet, it's not helping you prevent damage against Asian. But if you have the Big Charm, or the Big Amulet rather, you might survive a hit from Seishin with the extra HP. So that's why um, the Big Charm is now better. Yeah, that's why the Big Charm is now a better option. 
All right. So there's a Poipol. There's a Volkner. And yeah, like my opponent will get another knockout. I don't think his list could ever possibly fit in. Oh, I was gonna say Kotsu Gatchers, and then here they are. Yeah, there's two of them right there. There's a third one, so we don't have to worry about it. There's no way my opponent can move the Placephalon. Oh yeah, Pokemon Catcher, I guess. Oh yeah, Pokemon Catcher. Um, so yeah, we should be good here. And I did see the great catchers in the deck, so that's nice. Double charging up. Chooses not to take a KO, interestingly enough. Chooses not to take a KO. I do have two fires in the deck, so that's nice. That is nice. Um, so I have two. I still don't have knockouts. But I might. Um, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if I retreat or not. Just do it. Star Wish, Fire Crystal, that's game. That is the game. Fire Crystal, three fires. And then energy retrieval and then I will switch and buff one two three four five six seven there we go all right so the next word for the giveaway and remember no capital letters and no exclamation points is lucky egg okay type in lucky egg into the chat so that you have a chance to win this Roaring Skies Booster code, all right? So I feel like we should play one more game with Lucky Blounds. Yeah. All you need to do is type Lucky Egg into a chat to be entered into the giveaway. So go ahead and do that whilst I... Um, <clears throat> whilst I start this next game. Whilst I start this next game. Alright, ooh, I'm officially up against Diego Casaraga, 2017 World Champion. 2017 World Champion right here. Choosing to go first. Or did I choose to go second? I don't even remember. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, just make sure you type in Lucky Egg in the chat. <clears throat> Condor AD, thank you so much. That's what the videos are there for. See, do you really want to go first and do that? Guys, do you really want to go first and do that? I didn't think so. Um, <clears throat> I do have a terrible start, however. <laughs> so I'm not getting much further, but still, I had a better chance of getting further than he did. And I'm just gonna thin as much as I can. I do have a Ricorio, which is nice. It's risky as well for um, against Picarum. But, I mean, he also didn't like play with NAGX, Quick Balls, no nothing. So he probably has a supporter, but. And yeah, Gunner, thank you so much for the kind words. Um, <clears throat> we went no, no capital, no capital L. You remember, no capital L for the Lucky Egg giveaway. Okay, I'll wait for you to type it in correctly. No capital L, yeah? No capital letters. Okay, so Tackle gets him Goose Mahala, gets him the Stadium, and the Energy gets him the KO. Which is pretty scary given my current hand. <laughs> he just played at Suljiji tonight? Yeah, it seems like he's practicing, right? Seems like he's practicing. Alright. Um, 180 HP left, so I need 9 fires in the discard pile, and I will already have 5, so... I could end up killing with 15 if I get lucky here. Um, Rafa, make sure you type Lucky Egg. Yeah, just like Team Pie Pokemon did just now. I'll wait for Rafa, for Ruben, and then 
I will go ahead and give out the Roaring Skies booster code. Thunder Mountain, Big Charm, Unit Energy. Big Charm, oh, so I need more damage, never mind. Okay, so I'm definitely not getting a KO, that's for sure. Definitely not getting a KO. We'll see though. Doesn't seem like his start is that powerful, I guess. More Shadow. Night Meister, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, Ruben, so you'll be entered into the next one, okay? Because you're not typing it. Photo 3. Okay, I'll, I'll give it until I finish my turn. Yeah, you need to type Lucky yet without the capital L. Ooh, and doesn't play to... Um, doesn't play to the GX attack, which is nice, right? For us. Let's go ahead and Dance of Tribute. And... Not quite there. Not quite there. Alright, so I actually wouldn't mind if he goes ahead and uses up his GX attack, I feel. And Blazer, 10 damage, probably won't matter. Alright, so I will now roll the winner of the giveaway and Avadram. Avadram, congratulations on winning. Congratulations on winning the code. I will send it to you right now via Whisper on Twitch, okay? J73 Ken. Alright, so we're definitely not in a great spot in this match. Um, this might force him to use the GX. <laughs> now I'm out of um, way to find energy, but that's okay. Right, that's okay, I feel. <clears throat> the best part about this is that, like, <clears throat> the GX is not threatening us so far. So far, right? So, so far. Alright. So remember, guys, don't... Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I thought he was gonna cost this. <coughs> okay, so there's the third change. One Electro Power played. But if he doesn't find a switch or not Electro Power, did he play both this turn? Maybe he did. Okay, there's the switch. There's the switch into the Picarom. There's the Full Blitz. <coughs> Definitely gonna power himself up now. Right, you would assume. There's 8 energy now in my discard pile, and I need to do 180. I need to do 220 damage. Alright, so. Doesn't power up once again. The peak arm, okay. Playing very conservatively. Um. I think I'm gonna promote the Oricorio. Because I have Welder now and I have Fire Crystal, I found this guy, I found that, that's really nice. Okay. And a triple fire. And then I'll Welder. Okay. Then I definitely want to get rid of the Stadium. Let me check how many energies I actually have left. I have four exactly. Okay, so I do have knockout guaranteed, which is nice. Um, I feel like I wouldn't mind having the Jirachi on the bench. So let me think this through. I can definitely get rid of the Quick Ball, I feel. No, Quick Ball could be good. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Blast Cephalon and one energy. Because I do one and then four and three more. Yeah. I don't think I'll be needing. Well, maybe I do need this guy. Uh, okay, I'll do these two then. Fine. This was very confusing though. Already redeemed? Oh, okay. I will send you another one. Just let me finish this turn, okay? Sorry about that. I will let. I will send you another one. Just give me one second. Okay. I only use this. Oh my gosh! I just messed it up. Um. The escape word had to be on the active. Uh, <laughs> the escape word had to be on the active, and then I had retreat, I had KO. Jeez. Uh, 
There's no way to fix this. He takes two. I mean, I don't immediately lose, so I'll stay in the game, but that was really bad. Uh, that was really, 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 really bad. That was actually really bad. Yeah, I get, I do immediately lose. I don't think I have more than one great catcher. Okay, he attacks, he energy switched. Resetting coal, that's fine. Uh, that was very silly. If I don't do that, I think I have a chance of winning, maybe. Aranguru. Professor's research. Okay, so he's digging to GX me, of course. Stamp. Yep, alright. So, my bad. <laughs> That's my bad. That is my bad. Completely, completely, like I was, I just, that was my mistake. I think that's gonna be all for lucky plans. So yeah, um, definitely think we had a very good chance at winning the last game, despite the slower start. Yeah, despite the slower start, I think we had a very good chance. I just didn't. I needed to not mess up there. Um, because what happens? Like, he's at four prizes, I think. So I knock out the the peak round. I go down to three. And then he stamps me, knocks me out, <laughs> he goes down to three, but then I have two turns to, like, I knock out the Coco V, and then I GX for game. So, yeah, that's my bad. Sorry about that. Um, I will be moving on to the next deck, which will be my cargo, so don't go anywhere. I'll be right back in just a second. Be right back. <laughs> 